Hey guys, this is Mrs. Gower coming at you from the Gower household. I am going to do my demonstration on um, the first facial feature that you're going to do for your remote learning self-portrait project. So remember guys, we are obviously our, our original project is still stuck at school so we cannot do that project anymore. So we are um, doing a remote learning one. So this is going to be a bit different and altered from our original version. So, um, so yeah, so hopefully it's going to work out. We're kind of working through this together. So what I've got here are my supplies. Okay. Uh, so basically I have my sketchbook. If you do not have your sketchbook, it's going to be the same thing basically as your value scale you guys can use if you've got some blank computer slash printer paper you can use this if you don't have any of this or your sketchbook with you you are more than welcome to use just a plain uh, piece of notebook paper if you have a notebook um, around so use what you have okay I think even sometimes when you do it on here you might end up with something really cool so who knows those lines might be something that you incorporate into your take it up a notch uh, option at the end of this project so here are your three options notebook paper computer paper and sketchbook paper okay I'm gonna be working in my sketchbook and as you guys can see I just have regular pencils here um, I've got three of them for a reason because and you guys will kinda of see as I work my way through this that I like some of my pencils sharp and I like some of them dull for different reasons and it kinda of saves me from having to just keep working or keep sharpening like stopping and sharpening pencils so um, I like to kind of start with them uh, a few ready to go so if you have more than one I think it is helpful but these are all the same you know all the same and then I have an extra eraser here just so I can save my erasers on the end of my pencil as you guys can see these are kind of wearing down and I might actually I like using these pencil erasers for some of the tight areas that I need to get into to fix or clean up so now as far as your facial features so there's a lot of different ways you guys can do this you can if you want to have got like this little mirror okay so you guys can use um, uh, like a little handheld mirror if you want to I've got a couple versions of this so I have this is just like a little old makeup mirror and then I also have uh, one of these that kind of folds up so kind of like a yeah folds up okay so you can use a mirror and do this from direct observa observation if you want to Another option is to actually have a family member or friend, somebody at home, to help take a photograph of your facial features uh, close up. So I actually had my, um, my seven-year-old daughter take these pictures for me. So it took us a few times, a few tries, and all I had her do was just take the picture as close as I could get, have her get to it. And I showed her how to actually put the um, photo in focus. Uh, what you do is you tap on the screen when you're taking the photograph. So I had her take um, some photos close up of my eyes. So there's my left eye, my right eye, and then my nose. I've got my mouth, and I actually also too did my ears too. So um, we'll see how this is going to work. Okay. Now you could look directly off your phone if you want to so you can make it big go full screen if you want to so it's nice and big what's nice about looking at your image this way is that the light that's coming through your device actually helps to show more detail um, you can see so much more detail and plus you can zoom into this so you can really see some of the little stuff which is really really helpful Another option, if you don't want to mess with your phone, you could email these images to yourself and you can look at it on your computer screen if you want to. So you could get it on your computer screen on your Chromebook and that way it's nice and big. Uh, you will still have to kind of mess around with like your, you know, your screensaver popping on every once in a while. So that's uh, something that you're going to have to deal with on your phone or your Chromebook. So what I did is I just went ahead and printed these off on paper. I have a printer here at home, so I went ahead and did that. Um, and the only reason why I did that was because I didn't want to have to stop to like type in my password on my computer or my phone. Actually, I can't even do it on my computer because I'm recording right now. But uh, I'd have to just keep putting my password, and I find that kind of annoying. So I printed mine off. I actually recommend working off of your phone if that's something doable for you um, because the details better 
I just didn't want to have to waste anybody's time on this video having to, to deal with my screensaver. So I printed these off, and you can see that the coloring and even the details are a little dull, and that's what happens when you print them off on the paper. So I recommend looking off your phone or email the image to yourself and look at it on your Chromebook. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is my value scale from the other day. I'm going to go ahead and start on a new piece of paper. And as far as, I'm just going to do one eye for now. So these are going to be broken up into two different demos, one for uh, the left eye, one for the right eye. So I'm going to zoom in here. Um, if you wanted to, you could, if you want to, you could kind of create like, um, like a border to this if you'd like. And I'm not going to use a ruler. I'm just going to kind of kind of draw sort of a square almost the size of my picture here. And I'm not going to worry too much about these lines being um, perfectly straight. Okay. Uh, you do not have to do this. If you want to, you don't. You could just start drawing this right away. Okay. So I'm going to do this right over here on the side. Let me just kind of need to move some things here. And I'm just going to keep my photo. And again, if you're using your phone, keep your phone close by. See, and you can. Keep your phone close by so you can um, have your reference and your drawing close to each other. If they're far away, then you're going to lose information when you're going back and forth between the two. So I'm going to just keep my photo real close here. The first thing I'm going to start with is I'm just going to start by actually uh, just kind of drawing this out. So I like to kind of start with um, the tear duct area. So I'm just going to kind of... Um, just start with drawing this, and I'm just going to kind of draw this very, very lightly initially because I want to be able to kind of fix it and adjust it later. Now, the thing about your tear duct that a lot of times people don't really notice is just uh, it's not a, a lot of people forget about this and don't even include it. You do need to include it, it actually takes up a good amount of space here. Um, and when you don't include it, it makes your eyes look kind of weird. So this always has kind of a shape to it, uh, sometimes it's kind of triangular, sometimes it's kind of like uh, square-like. So I'm going to kind of pay attention to what I see here, and I'm going to try to keep this also to sort of the same size as my photo. That's going to help me with any adjustments I need to. And again, if you're looking on your phone, you can do the same thing, just kind of look at the size there. Now with this lower line, what you can notice on here is that it's not really that curvy. Um, it's not deep, so it doesn't have like a deep curve to it. Um, again, this is a mistake I see a lot of people make because they make this really low and come back up, and as a result, their eye kind of looks like a football, and it do it's not a football at all. No, uh, I don't want to make any of my football players feel bad. I like football. Football's cool, but not for an eye, okay? So I'm going to kind of work on this. And you'll notice that it kind of comes up here a little bit on the side. Now, you know me, guys. I like to kind of move my sketchbook around quite a lot um, when I'm sketching. So this is kind of killing me right now that I have to keep this sketchbook um, straight. This is not how I would normally uh, sketch this out. I'd be moving my sketchbook around a lot. And the other thing is, too, I would not have my sketchbook sitting um, flat on the table. I'd actually have it propped up. Um, I find that actually a lot easier and a lot better. So I'm going to kind of move this up here. I think I've kind of made this a little too big, so I'm going to cut that down a little bit. So I'm going to just stop there. And then now I'm going to kind of move up and do this upper area. So with this, um, again, there's a definite shape to it. So, And you'll notice, too, that there's kind of like a, you get to a point where it's kind of high, and it's not exactly in the middle. Uh, mine's kind of like up here, sort of the high part. And then it just kind of, kind of comes down. Now, um, your eye lids are not as curvy, I think, too. Um, I find that they have a lot of angles. So I'm just going to kind of get a little bit more shape in this. Kind of work on that. And then I 
another kind of bit of slant here. Now a lot of my uh, eyelid here is also getting skewed just from my um, eyelashes, so it's kind of hard to see it completely. And then what I like to do is take an eraser in here and I kind of like to even play around with the shape just by kind of carving it out like if I was doing a sculpture. So even though this is drawing, you can kind of play around with this like a sculpture. So kind of like carving a little bit more away from the drawing and just kind of playing around. So you'll notice a lot of times I make my lines kind of thick and then I'll go in with my pencil and kind of um, again sculpt the line out. Okay. Now one of the things you're going to notice here at the end, okay, try to move this so that's in the right spot, is that your uh, upper eyelid goes past your lower eyelid. So this tucks under. Okay, so I'm going to kind of check to see size-wise how I'm doing here. I think in general most people's um, sort of like intuition is to make their eyes too big. So um, I find myself trying to like <laughs> just hold myself back a lot of times from that. So kind of got the outside shape here. Okay. So now I'm going to go in and try to sort of like now kind of um, add detail into here, break this space up, which when I start breaking this up, this is probably going to help me um, fix this. And I can already tell you, I think I need to fix my tear duct. It looked a little too too big. So what I'm going to do initially is I'm going to work on, you can see here the lower eyelid is like a shelf. So there's a bottom line right here and there's a top edge right here. I'm going to use this as my bottom edge and then I'm going to add the top edge into there. And it kind of just disappears into the corner of there of the tear duct. And then it always gets a little bit wider here at the end and a little bit thinner as it goes right here. So again, you want to try your best to kind of keep this nice light. So that helps me get the tear duct started. Tear duct, I'm just going to sort of round it because this is actually the edge of my eyeball right here. So again, edge of my eyeball. It's a ball, so it's going to be round. And then this helps me see the tear duct better. And I can see that I need to kind of play around with this shape a little bit. So I'm going to kind of mess around with this a little bit. And again, I think I'm going to even chop this tear duct down a bit more. So this is how, this is what I like about drawing is that when you start adding in some of those details or cutting into these big shapes, it does help you to fix other parts of your drawing. So there we go. Okay, so I've got that, okay. And then I'm going to do the iris and the pupil. So the iris is the part of your eye that's got the color to it, and then the pupil is black. Um, sometimes if you've got dark eyes, this can be kind of hard to see where the pupil is. So one of the things a lot of people make a mistake about is the size of it and where they put it. If you guys look at my photo here, you can see that I don't see the very bottom of the, of the iris is getting cut off and I, a lot of the top is getting cut off too. So I need to keep that in mind and look at just how little white of the eye you actually see. So I'm going to go ahead and start, I'm just going to kind of do the sides here first. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to kind of, again, this is going to help me also to work again, I think I'm going to be editing some of this over here and this is always a work in progress. So I've kind of got the edges here, but I want to make sure this looks like a really good circle. So I'm actually going to draw the iris above and below just to make sure I've got everything looking pretty good. And um, yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. So if I don't, if it looks fine, then I'm going to go ahead and erase this. Now remember guys, because you're watching a recording, just keep in mind, you can, you can stop this video, pause it, give yourself a chance to kind of draw this uh, at your own pace. So feel free to pause this video at any point. 
give yourself a chance to kind of play and then press play when you're ready to move on. Everybody works at different paces, that's fine. All right, so I think I'm getting somewhere here. So again, think about just how much I have already kind of changed this around. I, and this is not my first die, guys. I've done this a lot. So uh, every time I'm, I'm just I'm playing, I know that as soon as I draw something, it's probably wrong, and I'm okay, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it because I'm going to play with it, and I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. I'm always going to be playing with it. Okay, so kind of got that. All right, so your um, your pupil, which is the black part again of your eye. Um, is centered, okay? And I kind of want to look at the size of this and how much space is around here and kind of keep that in mind. So what I do is I kind of just play around with the circle and I kind of play around with making it bigger, smaller, and again I can go in with my eraser and clean it up, which I'm going to do right up there. And this is where a pencil eraser actually comes in handy. Okay, so there we go. I think that's all right. So here are the parts of the eye that I haven't drawn yet. So if you guys look, I've got the crease. So this is what um, this is the fold in your top eyelid. Uh, so this is going to give you a section right here with, for the very bottom of your top eyelid, and then the top part that will then eventually go into your eyebrow. Okay. And I've got some like you know just I don't know creases, of course wrinkles. We'll get those in, or maybe not. I might skip that. Okay, so, all right, I'm ready to go. So I'm going to start with this top eyelid. And you can see that, like, the spacing is different. So it gets bigger, it's a little smaller, and you can see even, too, like, the sort of um, the angles or where it bends uh, can be a little bit, it's not always lined up with where it happens on your uh, actual eye. So that is kind of over there. This gets small. And then this, for me, this line looks a little curved. So it's kind of curved. Yours might be more angular. Again, you shouldn't necessarily be doing exactly what I'm doing because you're just then drawing my eye. You need to draw your eye. And your eye is going to look a lot different than mine. So you know, some of you might find that your crease up here for your top lid goes past all of this. Um, you might see that it goes past your tear duct. Mine kind of cuts short right here. Okay. And again, I'm still playing with that tear duct. I'm not happy with it. Every time I look at it, I think, oh, I need to do something. I'm going to keep playing with it. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I think actually I need to kind of lift it up. This just might be the part of the drawing that's going to give me some problems here. And that's fine. I'm okay with that. Actually, I need to bring that up now. Because every time I work on it, I'm getting a little bit closer to the answer. So I'm okay with it. Doesn't matter how many times it takes me to figure it out, I will figure it out. All right, so I've got my sort of crease. I do think I need to kind of work with getting that a little bit closer because it actually gets pretty close for me over here and then opens back up. There we go. Okay. Eyes are really fun to sketch, so if you ever are looking for something to do, this is good. I think my bend might be a little too severe. Soften that up a little bit. Okay. So there we go. So now I'm going to draw my eyebrow. Okay, so again, one of the mistakes a lot of people make with the eyebrow is that they think it's like the same width as your eye. And you can clearly see, for me, it is not. And for a lot of you guys, you're going to notice the same thing. It's quite a bit uh, wider than your eye. Um, so, you know, I can even on this photo, I can look at this and kind of draw here at the edge of all of this and just can see just how much larger it is. So I'm going to go ahead and actually draw those lines up so I can just see. I think I'm going to run out of room. I'm going to move the uh, top edge of this. I'll leave it open for now. 
And again, I want to look at the spacing. So, you know, here there's not, uh, right here, there's not so much spacing right here, okay? And here it gets a bit bigger, so it's wider. And you can see that there is a certain point of my eyebrow where it kind of bends and then it just kind of slopes down. Um, I want to know where that is, and you can see it's kind of right there aligned with the edge of my iris. So I can know, I now know where that angle is right here, okay? Try to move this so it's easier for you guys to see it. Okay, so now I'm just kind of like looking at the spacing. And I'm just going to basically draw this like an outline for now. I'm not going to worry about the hairs or anything like that. I just need to get the shape. If I start drawing hairs right now, I'm probably going to drive myself crazy. So I'm just trying to define this space. Now if you have everybody at your house that um, is interested in drawing, you guys can do this together. It's really fun. Actually. Of course, I, I'm an art teacher, so of course I'm going to say it's fun. So, But uh, it might be fun for you guys to do this with your family members at home. So again, look at how much farther that goes from my tear duct. Like, wow, it comes out here. Now my shape kind of changes a little bit here. It's a little flatter. I'm going to do that a little bit different here. Let's see here. There we go. I'm going to just, I'm just figuring all this out, you know. I'm playing, messing around, just trying to figure it out. I'm looking at kind of, you know, how thick the area is. You can see this is, this is a lot thicker than this, okay, so it gets thinner here. And again, I'm just kind of drawing an outline for all of this. And I'm just kind of like, okay, what would this look like if I drew a big outline around my entire eyebrow? How would that look? stops up right there. So now this is kind of like what I would call like, you know, if you were to cut out a piece of construction paper, like eyebrows, like construction paper eyebrows, this is what that would look like, okay? Uh, this is not going to be what it looks like when I'm finished. It's going to look a lot different. So I'm just going to still continue to play around with, kind of need to flatten that. That's kind of, happens about right, yep, right there. So after I get it initially drawn, then I go in and I kind of play, fix, play, fix, try again. Okay, this is drawing for you. All right. So that's what I basically have for my drawing. If you guys want to, you can take a break. I'm going to um, kind of play around with this a little bit more. And the next video I'm going to show you is how to shade it. Okay? So this is just how to draw it. The next one is going to be how to shade it. All right?